Hey, me again. Two days, two videos. Well, what's going on? Well, again, out for a walk. It's uh, an earlier one today because we might do one a bit later, but it could rain, so I thought I'd go a bit earlier today. So, as you know, I was talking yesterday about um, seeking out opportunities moving forward through these peak, these peak, these trough times. Uh, I don't know what I want to call it. These downturn times, shall we say. Um, and I've got a number of things I want to talk about going forward. And, and some of those are going to be like the tools that you can use for free for some opportunities. The, uh, the ideas, the things you can do and so forth. But the first obvious one and quick one to talk about would be YouTube Star. There are a few. There are apparently more earning six figure incomes than we think so if 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 the videos are to be believed of these people that sort of create um videos on things such as you know people people earning six figures on youtube or blogging or whatever um 2020 is it too late so, from my understanding, the answer is no, it's not. Although, compared to many you are sort of on the, on the, on the later uh, stage of it, and, and there's been a lot of changes and, and things like ad revenue and so on, from my understanding, um, through the years I've been doing it, you know, it changed quite a lot. It went from you had to be a partner to then everybody being able to get it no matter what to now being a thousand subscribers. But talking about that, it seems that a lot of people say that, you know, the, the, the ad revenue thing is just a small part of how people earn money on YouTube and the majority of the money is earned through things such as sponsorship. And apparently you don't need to have hundreds of thousands of subscribers to be able to get sponsored. It really depends on the content on the channel and you, of course. So the answer is it's not too late. But you do need to figure out a strategy to get a big enough subscriber base to be able to get sponsorship. That's, that's the kind of the key there. Um, you don't have to aim for hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You just need to get a big enough subscriber base to be able to get support. And that could be 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, for example. Um, or it could have to, might have to be 100,000 or more. So I think... The key element here is the first of what you're going to do secondly think of the content because you need to have good content probably better than this content uh, but around all that you need to have it in a container to fit with who you are looking to get sponsorship from because it may be the fact that you need to approach these companies first and find out what their key the key kind of elements are to sponsor you. So they might say you need at least 5,000 subscribers, for example. So that's the thing there, it's, it's not too late, but you do need to kind of think about it and, and actually approach companies and figure out who, what sponsorship and so forth, and not worry so much about the ad revenue. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, yeah, it's just my thoughts. And so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.